Ken Paxson, Texas Attorney General, traveled with President Trump to the border yesterday and is now in the Faulkner focus. Great to see you, Attorney General. Let's begin by just looking at the stark difference between Kamala Harris as vice president at the border in El Paso, Texas, last week, the former president, Donald Trump, at the border this week. So if you're asking for the comparison, it's really, it really is amazing. The difference of going to El Paso and going to a place where things are actually happening, where we're actually having issues. Um, the president came to the place where the action is happening, where the illegal crossings are occurring, and where border, border patrol, our sheriffs, our local law enforcement are having to deal with real issues of not just human trafficking and people coming across the border, but also all types of crimes, including the uh, the uh, drugs coming across in large measure. You know, you're having to deal with the repercussions of changing policy. I mean, it, it does come down to legalities when you're talking about a Title 42 mm -hmm. and, and how you handle people who come into your state of Texas. When the president says it would have been better had Biden just gone to the beach and done nothing, what is he talking about in terms of how things really have changed? Well, as a, as a border state, he, the president's exactly right. We, if, 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 if Biden would have just left things the way they were, the way they were under the Trump administration, where catch and release was no longer happening, where the border patrol were allowed to do their job, where you di didn't have a president inviting people to come across and saying, hey, we're not going to deport you, and then eliminating the stay in Mexico program, and then eliminating the building of the wall. That's a lot of stuff that was working. So if Biden would have just, he's right, if he would have just gone to the beach and done nothing, we would still have, we would still be progressing towards better border security instead of undoing all the good that happened under the Trump administration. You know, I, I want to get into just a little bit about how the messages are differing too, because when the vice president, Kamala Harris, went down to the Northern Triangle, she visited Guatemala and Mexico, she, she said, don't come, do not come. And then her message flipped. She flip-flopped on that and went back to more of a Biden policy, which is more open door. How does that differ to what former President Trump says we have to do right now? So, I mean, this started day one with the Biden administration. He literally invited people to come and they, they, they obliged. And, and the numbers show it, the facts show it. Um, all the numbers from the Trump administration, the improvement, the massive improvement from the Biden administration to the Trump administration, and now this falling off that happened really fast. Like, just look at the numbers from a year ago to now, all of them, whether it's crime, whether it's drugs, whether it's illegal immigration, it's all changed in a very dramatic way. The president is right, and I, I love the comment about him being called the actual border czar. Yeah, you, you know, one of the numbers that we're hearing about this week that are just stark in some areas, the amount of fentanyl coming in across the border has risen by 4,000 percent. That comes with crime. That comes with a whole lot going on in this country. I mean, this is a wave now uh, that will take years potentially to undo if they don't start moving quickly. A Texas Democrat, Philemon Vela, says, quote, let's make one thing clear. The narrative of a violent and insecure border region is blatantly false. The border is not a war zone and the wall Abbott and Trump are trying to get Texans to pay for is not only a waste of their hard-earned money, but also an un-American symbol of hatred. Attorney General Paxton, what's your reaction to that? Well, my reaction is very simple. If you talk to the people that are dealing with this every day, Border Patrol agents, they like the wall. The wall was built the way they wanted it built. Trump took their advice. He went to the people that were dealing with this as professionals, not as politicians, but as professionals following federal law. And so the Border Patrol agents who actually do this every day would disagree if they had the chance to be honest, because I've talked to them, I know the president's talked to them, I know the governor's talked to them. Mm. They would disagree completely with those statements by that Democratic congressman. You know, I caught the way you put that, and you choose your words very carefully, I know. Uh, mm. If they had the chance to be honest, how are politics at play here? There's no doubt that they are, they are encouraged not to talk. And, and I know that because I have talked to them. I talked to them during the Obama administration and I knew they weren't supposed to talk then. And mm. then under the Trump administration, they were allowed to talk and now they're back to not being allowed to really say honestly what they think. And I understand that they lose their jobs if they, if they do. And so there's definitely an attempt here to keep transparency away from the American people about what's actually happening from the people who know best. 
Well, look, now what's very transparent is what you and the governor of Texas are having to do to deal with this. And South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem is one of those who answered the call coming from Texas loud and clear from the governor. She is sending National Guard troops to the border to yeah. help out. Here's what she said today. Let's watch. Typically, securing the border would be the responsibility of the federal government, but our federal government is not doing their job. The governors of Texas and Arizona have asked us for help, and this is a mission that National Guard is trained and equipped and does with excellence. So when they made the request to me, I started running the protocols, uh, asking if we had volunteers in my National Guard that would want to do this mission and had more than, more than I could possibly um, anticipate. Attorney General Paxton, this is not a good look for the Biden administration. I mean, it <laughs> would seem that governors in the, in, the, in the great states across America are willing to do more than the actual federal government to help out the state of Texas. I, I, am I getting that right? God bless Christy Noem and God bless Ron DeSantis. God bless some of my friends. I have attorney general friends uh, like Todd Rakita in Indiana who, want to come, who are trying to figure out how to help us because they realize that we have a severe problem that isn't going to just affect us. This fentanyl problem doesn't just stay in Texas. The smuggling of human beings and human trafficking doesn't just stay in Texas. Yeah, I think it's, it's a very sad commentary that the Biden administration will not help us. And just the opposite, they're doing just the opposite of what needs to be, be done to help us. They're hurting us. Well, and from what you've been sharing and what we know from other leaders is that the American people, unless they see coverage of a former president whose policies were flipped. Unless we have these kinds of conversations, and I have them with Democrats too, um, they're not going to know just how bad it is from this administration. We started with Kamala Harris and where she went. Your last quick thoughts. My last quick thoughts is thank you, President Trump, for coming to the border. It, 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 it brought attention to a, a very massive problem along our border that will not just stay in Texas. It will not just stay in Arizona. It will affect the entire country, and it's going to be very costly from both an economic standpoint and a social standpoint. So I really appreciate that he came. I appreciate that the governor put this together, Governor Abbott. It was a success in highlighting the problem at the border. Yeah, you know, I've had uh, representatives in the House, GOP, tell me that they were not invited to be with the, with the Vice President Kamala Harris. Maybe in the future that could change if she does go back. Uh, from the great state of Texas, Attorney General Ken Paxton with me today in Focus. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.